He makes really, really good deep throws, and the offense is loaded. So if Mahomes has a down week, please don't get down on him. He's basically a rookie, and just give him time. Uh, I still think the Chiefs win like nine games, uh, which is fine with me. I don't, I, I'm good. I'm good with that. So, yeah, let's move on. All right, uh, we're joined on the phone here uh, by Coach William Harris of the Van Horn Falcons, who are off to a 3-0 and start. And if you listen to our interview with them a few weeks ago, that's no surprise. So, Coach, thanks for taking some time out of your week to talk to us. Uh, no problem. So, uh, obviously, first first three games, you know, you've won them all. Uh, you know, how, how have your kids kind of responded to uh, to just – being successful, so successful so early? Uh, I mean, I think they're handling pretty well. Um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of my kids are young, so it's kind of one of those things where they're too young to know better. So they're just lining up right now and kind of enjoying it, just lining up and just playing hard and not really worrying about being 3-0. and It really hasn't hit them yet, I don't think. Well, hey, that, that that's great. Um, and, you know, this week you guys got center coming up. Uh, you know, you said before on the show that that was uh, kind of the team you were looking to to see the progress you had made o- over your three years there. So, um, how uh, how they've been looking on film? Uh, they look good, man. I, you know, Coach Along, me and him are pretty good friends. We talk in the summer. We kind of get together in the summertime. Uh, the past couple of years, uh, he runs a great program, man. So I know I know those kids are, are going to get better every single week. But on film, I mean. You can tell from game one to game three, they've gotten better every single week. So it's going to be a great test for us, and, and we expect to go out there and be in a dog fight. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I would expect uh, you know that to be a really good football game on Friday night, and uh, that's over at Center High School, right? Yes, it is. Okay, good deal. Um, your quarterback uh, has been kind of tearing it up. Why don't you talk a little bit about how he's been your leader and uh, doing some big things? track and I think he clocked a 10 900 last year during the track season so I mean he's a kid that can run he can he's provide some explosive plays for us on the offensive side of the ball but he can also throw the ball so I mean he's done he's done what we pretty much expected him to do this year against competition and, and you know it's just something that we just keep on him about getting better the little things every single week and if he just keeps improving on those little things I mean, he can really finish this thing on, on a high note really special season yeah, um, yeah, I've seen uh, some highlights of him. You know, kind of bump, bouncing around on Twitter in different places, and you know, he, he looks he looks like uh, he's really tearing it up for you guys. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a guy. Um, who who else has uh, kind of been some leaders on your team through these three uh, games? Our defense right now is playing really well. But we've given up twelve points in three weeks. So I mean, uh, oh, defensively. Wow. Um, we've got a couple of young kids that are really playing well. We've got a sophomore, Travion Page, who's playing safety for us. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's doing a great job for us right now. Uh, we've got a sophomore defensive end. I think he has maybe four or five sacks on the season. Man, that that's great. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously being a longtime defensive coordinator, you know, you know if you're playing good defense and getting after the passer and making them uncomfortable – uh, you're gonna you're gonna have some success. Yeah, it helps out a lot with the D lines playing well. Yeah. Um, so uh, after uh, what's that? Sorry. No, uh, I was just gonna say. Uh, you know, I really hope you guys can get this done uh, against center center on Friday, and uh, you know, I, I really feel good for you guys. I'm, I'm happy for all the success you guys have had. Um, this early in the season, and I, I really hope that continues. All right, thank you. We, we hope to keep it rolling, too. Yeah. Um, but, uh, hey, so good luck to you guys, and uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to us. All right, thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. Yep. All right, hey, thanks again uh, to Coach Harris jumping on with us uh, and uh, taking some time. I know he's got a busy week, so it was good to uh, kind of catch up with him and you know, if you get a chance, go out for Friday night and support them uh, at Center High School. Yeah, it's always important to spoke, uh, support your local teams, keep up with them. Just talk about If you can't make it out to the games, talk about it. Put it out on social media, talk about it. Uh, you know, put it out there. So it's very important to support our local teams and everything. So 
Gary, talk about Absolutely. your game last week, Simon Schneese. Yeah, Simon Schneese. Uh, we, we got the first win uh, under our new head coach, Justin Hoover, uh, at Lawrence High School. Um, we won uh, 43 to 12, 13 um, or 43 to 12, uh, something like that. But uh, And then JV, we completed the sweep on Monday. Uh, so it was, uh, you know, it was good uh, to get a win. Our kids really, after the, after the week one loss, bounced back and in preparation for week that week two game against – Lawrence, um, they were very focused. Our kids worked hard at practice uh, and knew how important it was and and are really, uh, you know, as we sit here the night before our third game, we really feel like the kids are fully in, Uh, you know, which with all the turmoil and everything the program had in the last eight, nine, ten months uh, is saying something. I mean, I feel like the kids believe in us and believe in themselves, and they're just going to continue to get better. Uh, you know, P.J. Spencer, our returning All-State defensive end, he had a really good night. Um, he pretty much shut down one side of the field. They couldn't run at him at all. Uh, Ashton Andino, our nose, uh, he, he had a really good night. Uh, he's had two really good weeks, actually, uh, and I would expect him maybe to start getting some college looks uh, here in the next month or so, if he continues to, oh, good. to play, yeah, that's good. The the way he has been, um, he's really put in the work. Uh, Lee Marshall, uh, our other defensive end. Obviously, I'm gonna talk about the D line because that's what I coach. But Lee uh, had a really good night. Um, one of our linebackers, that's a senior, Tyler Stottle, uh, he really tore it up, and he actually got on the, uh, I believe it was eight ten varsity. Uh, Players of the week or team of the week, um, he got a linebacker spot on that uh, post uh, that was on Twitter. That's cool from A10 Varsity. So yeah, he 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 had a dynamite game. Was just all over the field making plays. Uh, you know, I mean, our defense. That, you know, that's kind of the design of it is we want our linebackers to be able to run and make plays. So um, you know, he had a really good night. And then, like I said, Monday our JV kids we went back to Lawrence and took care of business. And won that game 35-12. So, you know, we, we swept Lawrence. Uh, tonight, actually, as we record this on Wednesday the 12th, um, our freshmen beat Olathe Northwest because they're on to the next opponent already. No surprise. No surprise, Coach man. Hare. Coach Hare, he, did, he does it no again, surprise. man. No surprise, Coach Hare. Coach Hare's 3-0 with that freshman group, man. He, he just... He has that magic. He just keeps winning down there. Right. So, how do you guys, how do you feel about the game this week? Uh, you know, Olathe Northwest uh, also has a new coach, uh, Coach Hafter. He's coming from college. He runs a flex bone system, which is what we ran previously. So, yeah. defensively, I I feel pretty good about our game plan going into it, right? And being able to stop it because we've seen it a lot over the last you know four years. These kids whole high school career. I mean, they played against it in practice every day. And our coaches, uh, you know, all of our defensive coaches are returning staff members. So we kind of know some tips and tricks and things to look for. Uh, You know, so I I feel pretty good about the game. uh, If And we've had a couple good days of practice this week. Obviously a short week because we play on Thursday. Right. Uh, You know, so that kind of messed with us not having – a, a typical true, you know, our Monday was Tuesday, our right. Tuesday was Wednesday, and our right. Wednesday was Thursday. Right. But we did come in on Sunday and get some good work in to kind of get ahead of it. So coaches did, coaches and, and players. We brought players too. in and had a little practice on Sunday. So nice. Okay. Very good. So yeah, I, I feel good about going into Olathe Northwest uh, tomorrow night. And I mean, as they say, if you haven't fixed it by now, you're not going to. So. <laughs> I mean, I feel good about our game plan and what they do. Um, just, you know, so, Sean Machinese, things are, we're, we're trending up, I would have to say. Good. And, uh, so, yeah. So, uh, let's talk a little college now. Um, really, your top teams, there's no surprises there. Yeah. Alabama looked good. Georgia looked good. Clemson yeah. looked good. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. Uh, you're talking about Clemson. So Clemson went to College Station and beat A&M. A&M looked good. 
Yeah. And, and, that was a little bit of a surprise that A&M gave him that much of a game. And you know what? When you start thinking about it, when you, like, retro think about A&M, you're like, wait, why wasn't A&M ranked? Okay? A&M has talent, for sure, right? Mm-hmm. Texas, they get talent. They, they may even, at this point, they may even recruit better talent than Texas does. Because Texas has been kind of soft the last, like, three or four years, right? Mm-hmm. Jimbo Fisher. Yep. Winning coach. Like, they matched his, uh, they actually put side-by-side his record with Dabo. And it was like it was like super similar, right? Mm-hmm. I, think, I think even the same national championship. I think it's one one or whatever. So uh, for Jimbo to turn A and M around, which actually you know what I say turn around, they really weren't like they weren't terrible. No, they weren't. And I don't even know if they should have fired someone honestly, but they did, and they got Jimbo. But that program looks good, and losing by two to Clemson is not a bad thing for A and M. And I thought Clemson going into College Station and and winning that game and playing gutsy football. Clemson definitely is. I don't know. I don't know what the rankings are now. Is Clemson still number two? Uh, yeah. I would think yes, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so anyways, yeah. No huge surprises this week. Uh, me and you got a little shocked on how bad USC played against Stanford. Yeah, I, w- I was very shocked about how bad uh, USC played. So when you take a look at that score, uh, what it says to me, and I watched a little bit of it, what it says to me is that. Stanford's, Stanford's offense is okay. Stanford's defense is good. Stanford's defense is really good. And they've been good for the last few years, especially, I mean, with the hardball influence and everything. Um, going through, do we have any big games this week? Any big games this week? Um, I'm seeing one right here. LSU-Auburn. LSU, yeah, LSU-Auburn. And Auburn is a 10-point favorite in that game. I think that's a little high. I, would, I think Auburn is going to win that game, but that is pretty high. Because LSU's quarterback's not bad. I watched LSU play. Their quarterback's not bad. Yeah. And so I actually, I, if you were, if we were betting, I would, I mean, I don't know who's going to take our betting advice now. After, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we were bad last week. Dude, okay, I'll we say this. Do not, do not bet your house on this. But you got to go LSU. you gotta, you got to take, if it's 10, I'll take LSU. I'll take LSU in the points. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But L- Auburn wins that game, right? Yeah. Um, as far as two ranked teams playing, uh, Boise State plays Oklahoma State. I don't. I have no yeah, idea. Like, yeah. I, got, I got no clue. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, potential upsets or anything? Not really. Uh, TCU Ohio State's interesting. That's four against uh, fifteen. Yeah, but I think Ohio State will handle them. Ohio State will handle them. I don't know what the line is, but uh, anyways, uh, one more shout out to Herman Edwards. Yeah, Arizona huge State huge win. For her. They're ranked now 23. Yep. Herman Edwards. Herman Edwards is a good coach, right? I, oh, absolutely. Not the Super Bowl coach. Not, I mean, not a Super Bowl coach, but he's a good coach. We, I mean, we, we've talked about it, not on the show, but uh, Herman Edwards got a raw deal when he was the head coach of the Chiefs. He actually got a really raw deal uh, when he got fired from the Jets, and he got a really yeah. raw deal when he got fired from the Chiefs. Because the Chiefs basically said, we're going to rebuild, and you won two games and you're fired. Yeah. And so it's turned out okay for us in the long run. In the short run, it sucked because we got we got Todd Haley and we got Romeo Cornell, which was ended up being trash head yeah. coaches. But we ended up getting Eddie Reed, which is great. But Herman Edwards got a raw deal. Uh, yeah. I think he was a coach for th- two or I three mean, years. You know, it, it was just the case of him and King Carl were not on the same page. King you Carl know. King Carl got fired that year too. So the same year they axed both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, they ask both of those guys, and then they bring in Pioli and Haley. Oh, yeah, that's so, right. So, King, because King Carl's big thing was uh, we made the playoffs 9-7, and seven, and he goes, one more year with these guys, which was like Trent Green and yeah. all those all the older and guys. And Herm wanted to go young. Herm wanted to go young, and they ended up winning like seven games, and then, and then they go, okay, let's go young, and they got rid of everybody, and they won two games. And then they got rid of both yeah, of them. Yeah, so so. Uh, they the rebuilding process obviously wasn't approved through the Hunt family, but you know you know whatever. But again, you, it worked out in the long run. Anyways, Herman Edwards has done a great job in Arizona State so hey, far. And best best of luck to him in this week. So, um, any more uh, college games you want to throw out there? I don't uh, think so. Um, I'll, I'll say one more thing about uh, college football. Probably have some Missouri fans that listen to this podcast. Uh, Drew Locke is playing really, really well. They haven't played anybody really tough yet, but he's he's playing at a very high level. Um, I'll have to check and see who they're playing this week. They're playing Purdue. 
Uh, I expect them to win. It's on the they road. Should, it's on the, it's on the road, but they should be.